Algebraic Equations Part 2. We can also graph a relationship. If the graph is a straight line, the relationship is then called a linear relationship. When graphing the relationship, the independent quantity is the x-coordinate, and the dependent quantity is the y-coordinate. So when we write our ordered pairs, we always do x comma y. It's going to be the independent quantity or input comma the dependent quantity or output. Represent the relationship y equals x plus 2 with a graph. Well, before we can even get to the graph, we need to make a table. So our rule is x plus 2, y equals x plus 2. And remember, the input or the independent variable can be any number we choose. So I'm going to choose the three smallest numbers, the three smallest positive numbers I can think of, which are 0, 1, and 2. And I'll fill those into the x column. Now, in our process column, we follow our rule x plus 2. 0 plus 2, 1 plus 2, and 2 plus 2. To find the y value, we figure out the sum. 0 plus 2 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, now I just have to find my ordered pairs, which is my x comma y. So for my first set of data, it's 0 comma 2, then I have 1 comma 3, and 2 comma 4. Remember to include parentheses around your ordered pairs. Step 2 is when we get to the graph. We will graph each ordered pair and then draw a line through each point. Our first ordered pair was 0 comma 2. Remember we do the x axis first and then the y axis and you know what let's do something to make life a little easier for us. Let's write the words dry mix just so we remember which variable goes where. So I have 0 comma 2 that's going to be my first point and that is 0 comma 2 then we have 1 comma 3 and then our third ordered pair was 2 comma 4 which goes right there. And now we draw the line through our points. Neville is growing his own crop of gillyweed and constructed the graph shown, which shows the height of his gillyweed after several weeks of growth. Write an equation that can be used to find the height in inches, y, for the number of x weeks. Well, the first thing we need to do is represent the relationship with a table. And I've gone ahead and drawn a table, and I have my input column, my process column, my output column, and a column for the ordered pairs. And the ordered pairs are already filled in. Let me show you where I got them from. Here's my first ordered pair that's 1, 2. The second ordered pair is 2, 4. And then the third ordered pair is 3, 6. So that's where I got those ordered pairs from. Now that I have the ordered pairs, I can figure out what the input and output is. For the first ordered pair, 1, 2, the input is 1 and the output is 2. For my second ordered pair, the input is 2 and the output is 4. And then for my third ordered pair, the input is 3 and the output is 6. So I'm looking at my input and my output, my independent and dependent quantities, and I need to find the relationship between the two. Well, how do I get 1 to equal 2? I can either do 1 plus 2, or I can do, 
not 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1 equals 2, or 1 times 2. How do I get 2 to equal 4? I can do 2 plus 2 or 2 times 2. How do I get 3 to equal 6? I can either do 3 plus 3 or 3 times 2. Well, whatever I do to get the input to equal the output for 1, I have to do it every time. And the only thing that works is to multiply by 2. 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4 and 3 times 2 equals 6. So in my process column, I have multiplied by 2 every time. What am I multiplying by 2? The input, and the input is our x variable. So the rule is 2 times x. Step 2 is to determine the rule and then use it to write the equation. Well, lucky for us, we just did that. We found the rule. It was 2 times x because every time to find the output or the y quantity, the y variable, we took the input or the x and multiplied it by 2. So the rule is 2 times x. And then to write our equation, we simply put y equals and then the rule, 2 times x. Please take a moment to write down any questions you still have. There are no summary questions for this video. And if you do not have any further questions, then please take a moment to write a problem for your group to solve in class. And good luck.